For nearly 60 years, this was the way west. America's Main Street, before highways looped outside little towns and left their businesses to the weeds and wind. The Shell Station in Seligman, Arizona is now a barn where farmers fill up with hay, not gasoline. It has been a tough time for the tourist trade. But Seligman survives, <laughs> and this is one reason why. Juan Degadillo would not let progress pass him by. He prowls the countryside looking for customers. He leads them to a desert ice cream stand that's right out of Alice in Wonderland. There are two doorknobs. One works. You're next. A reassuring menu. Hello, uh, people in the back, can I help you today? And a mad hatter inside. Now how about a little extra flavor? <laughs> <laughs> Juan has lived in Seligman almost all his life. His father came from Mexico, built a pool hall, and raised nine children. The business flourished then faded during the Depression. The family packed its things and prepared to follow the great flood of folks who passed by the door looking for work. On the morning they were to leave, Juan found a job. Playing in a dance band. Eventually he got work for all his brothers in the band. But for a time he went hungry so his younger brother Angel could eat. We would have starved to death. His money was our money. It was his money that bought us food and kept food on the table. Juan also worked days as a laborer for the Santa Fe. After 22 years with the railroad, he opened his own business. Would you care for a straw? The trains no longer stop. Thank you. The interstate has passed him by. Would you care for a napkin? But he will not leave. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, what is it so special about this place that keeps you going? Me. <laughs> 12 hours a day, seven days a week, Juan Degadillo looks like a Shriner who's lost his parade. That chicken sandwich is. But he does attract attention. Upside down banana splits. And survives with a smile. Hi. Whoa. Oh my, what happened? 